Okay. This is version 05. Once your track should be working for Evo 2, which is what my test is. Just hit the enter key. Scanning. I'm going to plug my USB in. It's going to pick up the USB. Up at the top there, USB for COM port 4. Turn ignition on now. Let's press a button. Unlock. It's looking good. Evo 2 ECU getting ready. There we are. Oh, just a little bit of gas. Yep. The correct setting for the throttle is minus 0.25. Um, all the information on there. I've got. I suppose I could use a mouse. That's, I like to see that minus 0.12. The cat information is not guaranteed to be correct because I don't have a cat and don't understand them. I can test for P for fuel pump activation, pressing letter P now. Yeah, this is going to last for 30 seconds. It's, if something goes wrong in the ECU or it thinks there's, uh, there's a problem, it'll give you an error. Other than that, it'll tell you when the ECU thinks it's finished testing. Okay, press a key now to do that. Back to the normal one. I'm going to look for the uh, over over boost valve. You should hear this. Could you hear it at all? Have a closer listen. You ready? Uh, that wasn't it. Hang on. Over over boost. Rattling away quietly. Right, okay. We'll come out of that. I'm going to do the injector test. You don't mind me squirting a bit of fuel in your fat. I'll do the HT test first. HTs, you might hear them clicking. HT2 test. And it's finished. Yeah. It's hard to hear sparks, but right. So that bit thinks it's passed anyway. Let me way back. Uh, I won't fire the injectors, but that would do it. Uh, which should I do? Oh, the boost. I'll do the VAE. Now you have a listen to this, see if that works. Yours is working. It shows us it's not uh, seized up, I guess. Right, um, all the other sensors look okay. I'm going to just throw, slowly touch the gas somewhere around 28 degrees. We're going to get a uni ramp changing. 01 to 09 at this end here. At the point where that changes to 09 around there, that means the car is capable of giving over boost if it feels like it ought to. Below that, it won't. Mm -hmm. It's a different angle on the, on the non Evo 2. Um, I think all I can do now really is start the car. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have to go through this again. Mm -hmm. Oh, should. These numbers are looking reasonable. This should go down in value to about 8% or something when the engine's warm. The map pressure should look reasonable. It's a different map sensor than on an Evo 1 or any of the others. So.
not much to see really the cooling temperatures starting to go up the air temperature about too well that is about right at least these two degrees are about right for where we are just see the duty cycle can go down as it oh, helps with the tick over that's over here that's going down slowly I've got a letter M down here so if I press M and with the maximum values that we've had another M is going to be the minimum values that we've had which will be when the ignition was off in this case uh, ignition on engine off and the M goes back to live values which is what it says up here I can put logging on and now logging all of the values that have been displayed on the screen if I see there's a problem or a hiccup I can press a space bar like that and it'll put a one in a spike column so you can identify where it was when you look at the dot CSV turn the login off I'll press um, let me see what don't we need B for battery volts G for ignition in advance, J for injection angle, uh, duty cycle, it's going down nicely, Y for it trimmer, which is just your CO detector. It's now going to read the ones we've got much quicker. Put the logging back on again. It's now logging only what we've got on the screen. You can see there that I've got a file name with a year, month, date, time so you can save a few as long as you know what time it was you'll be ok you come out to that stop logging and it will finish saving the file in the same place that your program is which can run off a stick if required so let me put some of these things back on cycle injection mission advance battery volts not really I've put the trimmer on but it doesn't really do much it's probably a waste of data okay I don't think there's anything else to say about this program I'll, I'll sneak in something that's not documented if I press a number three I bring up the speed in different gears and if you know you're in fifth gear on the motorway saying you now press a five it's giving you the speed on the average of the last 10 samples of revs for what speed you're doing bit of a gimmick really number 4 gear 3, gear 2 gear 1 different key to drop back uh, I think the W works as well this is now showing you the ECU data which can come in really useful if you find something that doesn't seem right I may ask you to send me a copy of this so that I can see what's happening the key to exit that if I switch off I can Q for quit the ignition or I can quit the program or I can switch off the program should understand that if I switch back on again it's going to get ready and start it all again and that's my program which has been called Lancia Trek for a long time on a late e Delta Integrale Evo 216 valve cat that's great hope you enjoyed watching the video bye